when I first started playing drums. I first wanted to play trumpet, and all the trumpet seats were full because I'm a procrastinator, if you, can, if you can't tell. Um, <laughs> I then wanted to play saxophone, and again, I'm a procrastinator, all the saxophone seats were full. So the band director said, how about tuba? I need a tuba player. And I said, great. And I tried it, and I got the fattest lip that lasted like four days. And then a friend of mine said, hey, you should come back to the drum section because the band director never pays attention to us, and we can talk all day long. <laughs> so that sounded like a good place for me. Um, even though I studied for years and years and years and practiced you know, three, four hours a day and taught for 10 years, 50, 60 students a week, by the time I turned 28 was when I got in a rock band that actually started to go out on the road and tour and play in front of people. And I was playing with a group of people that were asking me to lose all my technique, sort of the anti-technique. Like, don't play with upstrokes and downstrokes and accents. Like, play stiff. Play like, you know, you just had a stiff drink. Or in other words, play loose, you know. The man asked about a song called I Will Possess Your Heart and how I developed a beat for that. It's funny you say that because we were talking about playing it, but it was the first single off of our last Death Cat record, and it was an eight minute, like, kraut rock jam, and it was the same bass line and the same beat all the way through. The way that I played it was a lot of times I like to get inside of the clothes and, and hat and body of another drummer. Like, I like to, to feel like I'm a 16 year old drummer or a 14 year old drummer who's picking up the sticks for the first time. And you know, for all the years that I taught at Salem Drum School, um, I, every kid that came and learned to beat for the first time, as soon as they hooked onto that thing, it was such an inspiration to see, regardless of technique or approach or anything, just by the way they, they owned it, you know? And in, in my world of, of indie rock music, there's a whole lot of players out there that never went to music school, that never studied any technique, that know nothing of music theory, but they just go for it, they just kill it, and they don't have dynamic. They don't have upstroke, downstroke. They don't have anything that helps them in the way that the techniques we study help us. But what they do have is head and heart and, and approach. So I'll, I'll play you kind of where I was coming from. And again, this is, this is the way I'm thinking about it and feeling about it. If I put on a different hat, I put on a different shirt, I put myself in a different country, and I'm, I'm a different age, and I'm a, I'm a, I don't know, I'm just a different person, they're going... Thank you. 